This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says, what's the area of the smallest circle? Looks like we're given five circles that are laid out like this. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. And then let's draw the radius of the smallest circle, the question mark circle, and let's call it X. And I'm having trouble seeing the X, there it is. The radius of the smaller circle is equal to X. So the question wants to know what is the area of the smallest circle? So we wanna know what is pi X squared? This is what we're looking for, let's put a box around it. And let's highlight it yellow. Next, let's draw the radius of one of these larger pink circles, and let's label the radius big R. This piece right here will also be a radius because of this circle right here. And we can also call it big R. And then let's draw this radius at right angles and call it big R. And now we have a nice looking right triangle with one side equal to big R, the other side equal to big R plus X. And then to find the last side, this whole thing is equal to big R. This piece is equal to X, let's make it orange. So the remaining portion, the side of this triangle is equal to R minus X. And now we have the three sides of this right triangle. Let's do Pythagorean theorem. It'll be the quantity big R minus X squared plus big R squared equals the quantity big R plus X squared. So this quantity big R minus X squared, that'll multiply out to big R squared minus two big R X plus X squared. And then we can bring down the big R squared. And on the right hand side, the quantity big R plus X squared, that multiplies out to big R squared plus two big R X plus X squared. Now we can simplify this a little bit. Both sides of the equation contain a big R squared that we can subtract from both sides. And they also contain an X squared, so let's subtract that from both sides. Each of these matched pairs will cancel each other out. So we're left with negative two big R X plus big R squared equals two big R X. We're trying to solve for X, so let's get all the X's on the same side. Let's add two big R X to both sides. On the left hand side, these will cancel each other out, so we're left with big R squared. And on the right hand side, two big R X plus two big R X is equal to four big R X. Next, to get the X all by itself, let's divide both sides by four big R. Normally you don't wanna divide by a variable, but we can safely do it here because we know for sure big R does not equal zero. The left-hand side simplifies to R over four, and on the right-hand side we're left with X. And now we solve for X. X is equal to big R over four. This looks important, let's put a box around it. So we know the area is equal to pi X squared, and we know X is equal to big R over four. Now we gotta figure out what is big R. Well, we still haven't used this circle with area 36. Well, the diameter of this circle is equal to the radius of the pink circles. That means it's equal to big R. So the radius of this circle would be half of that, or big R over two. And now we can write an equation to solve for big R. It's pi radius squared equals 36, where the radius is equal to big R over two. And now we can solve for big R. This squared will distribute to both of these, giving us pi big R squared over two squared equals 36. 2 squared is equal to 4, and we can pull this out. So we have pi over 4 big R squared equals 36. We can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the pi over 4, which is 4 over pi. On the left-hand side, these will all cancel each other out. So we're left with big R squared. And on the right-hand side, 36 times 4 is equal to 144, and that's still divided by pi. Next, let's square root both sides. On the left-hand side, the square root and the square will cancel each other out. So we're left with big R. And on the right-hand side, the square root can be split to the top and bottom, and the square root of 144 is 12. So we now have big R is equal to 12 over root pi. This looks important, let's put a box around it. And let's bring it up here. Now we have big R. We can plug that in here to find out X, and then we can plug that in here to find out the area. So before we plug it in, let's rewrite the big R over four as one fourth times big R. And now in the place of the big R, we can plug in 12 over root pi. So we can simplify this 12 on top and the four on bottom to give us a three on top. And now the one over one isn't doing anything. So X is equal to three over the square root of pi. And now we're done with the big R. Let's rearrange these and get rid of this box. In the place of the X, let's plug in three over square root of pi. This square will distribute to both the three on top and the square root of pi on bottom. And on top, three squared is equal to nine. And on bottom, the square root and the square will cancel each other out. So ultimately the square root of pi squared is equal to pi. And then this pi on top and this pi on bottom will cancel each other out. So we've simplified everything down to nine. Let's give it a label of unit squared and put a box around it. 
in this diagram, the area of the question mark circle is equal to nine units squared. And that's exactly one fourth of the 36. I wonder if there was a faster way to do this. How exciting. I think this is a fun one. It used a lot of different algebra and geometry skills. If you want to fine tune your algebra and geometry skills so you can solve problems like this, brilliant.org has you covered. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. And all of them are interactive, which is the most effective way to learn. I have a lot of fun going through these tricky geometry problems, but sometimes I get stuck. It's hard to know what to do next. That's part of the fun, but sometimes it gets frustrating. Sometimes I want to just sit back and relax and just learn. Brilliant is a great way to do that. The interactive lessons are always in a logical order. You just have to swipe, go through them, read the content, play around with the tools, answer the questions. If you need to, you can read the hints. It's just a fun, interactive way to learn. You can tell they put a lot of thought into the lessons. Even topics I already know, they provide a new perspective to it. I really enjoy going through them. And they have all the fun math classes, algebra, geometry, linear algebra, calculus, statistics, probability, all the fun ones. And they also have courses in the sciences and programming, data analysis, artificial intelligence, and many more. To try Brilliant for free, visit brilliant.org slash antimath or scan the QR code on the screen. Or you can click on the link in the description. You also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. How exciting.